Good afternoon, everyone. John Little here. I wanted to do a share with you if you're having a problem with the videos playing back. Um, we had a couple people say that some of these older videos are slow. A couple things you want to look at is make sure you don't have anything else running in the background. Like when I first started this, I was having a backup run, and that slows everything way down. So let's take a look at the back to basics. Um, slide on down to the video lesson. Click it here. Now, the default is HD. Now it's going to be a higher bandwidth, requires you know more data coming down to you. If you don't need it HD, you can try the lower resolution to see if it'll come in quicker for you. More than likely it will. I'm going to leave it in HD right now. I want to show you a trick. You press your play and go ahead and just pause it. Now notice right here, see where my cursor is? See how that gray bar is extending? That means it's buffering for you. And as long as you have that ahead of where the playhead is, let's go ahead and bring the play up, I'm turn the volume down. As long as you see where it's playing at 7 seconds, 8, 9, and the gray's way ahead, then it, you won't have a pausing problem. And any time it gets real close, just pause it for a moment and let it get ahead. See how it keeps spooling up ahead? You can let it sit there and spool the whole thing and you have a continuous run. Now the other thing you can do, I want to remind you, you know, when I do this on this particular screen, this is a very big screen, it's going to expand it out of your view area, but this little guy right here in the lower right corner, when you click on it, it will go into full screen mode. Now to get out of full screen mode, you can press the escape. All right, that's why I wanted to show you that because some people are have experiencing some problems with that. And again, depending upon what your computer is doing in the background, if it's backing up something or if you're sending a big email or if you're watching another video on some other channel or something else is going on to slow down the network, you may experience this problem. So again, start the video, just kick it started and then pause it and let it spool ahead. All right, hope this little tip will help you out and See you in the next lesson. After uh, we completed the project, Sammy was reviewing it and he said, we needed to show you one more thing. Being a wise bear and all that he is, there's a little speed test you can go to. It's called speedtest.net. Put that up in your address bar. And from this site, you can gauge your speed on how fast you are actually running on the internet. Now what you want to do is, the first test I would do is just do the begin to test. That's going to do a local test. That means it's going to test you in your environment, probably very close to your host, you know, ever who's serving your, your service. And so it gives you the download speed. The first thing it gives you is download speed. That needs to be 6 megs or higher. As you can see, mine's running about 60, 65 megabytes, so I'm 10 times the requirement. 6 megs, is, we're finding to be pretty much the bare minimum. Uh, we'd like to see 12, 10 or above, really. Um, upload speed doesn't really matter as much because um, you're not really uploading anything to us. Um, if you take taking a lesson and painting something, you want to upload your picture, again, that may come into play, but it's not a big deal because you're not sending that big of a file. All right, so it comes up and it gives you, up here at the very top, it gives you your results. It gives you the ping. Ping should be 15 milliseconds or less. And like I said, the um, megabits, the one in the middle there, uh, download speed, Six megabits at the very, very minimum, preferably 12. Upload speed, basically anything above three is fine. Two, two gets the job done. Now, that's testing in your local environment. So let's do it one more time. I'm going to test again. I uh, didn't want to do it that way. Hold on a second. We have to let it run this. I don't think I can stop it. What I wanted to do was pick a, a different location. Our server currently is over on the west coast, uh, I think in the Utah area. So what you want to do is you want to check your speed going over to that side of the country. And with this particular program, you can do that. 
and it used to be you could test it again, but you have to press a different button now. It looks like they're always changing this program. So read it carefully like I didn't do and see where you need to retest it where it's going to pause for a second so you can get to the country and, and change what you want to do. All right, so it'll come back up again. And, okay, over here where it says New Server, instead of being the green button over on the left here, New Server, click on New Server, and it's going to sit there. It's going to give you a server. Now you can zoom out or here. Grab the country down here in the Utah area. You can start hitting. There's Nevada, Cali. Uh, we got something close. Well, I think if you do California or Utah or, I mean, California, Oregon, Nevada, there's Utah down here. You can do one of these guys. So just pick one of them. doesn't matter. We we'll just click on one. Now the speed should be different because you're going now across the country. It's a little graphic down here shows you. You got a little guy standing here. It's going across the country. So your ping is going to be longer. 80 milliseconds, not bad for going across the country. Nothing to worry about there. Again, my download speed's even quicker going across the country. So it's, it, it varies. So you got to look at this. Just don't test it on one server or one location. Um, one time we were having problems in one part of the country and I was playing around with this and there was a roadblock and, you know, it cleared. This, these things happen. It's an internet. And so try different parts, see where you're going. You just got to make sure you got good speed. So there we go. Nothing wrong with that. Again, the download speed's the key. The ping is the first thing that goes out and says, hey, server, are you there? And it expects to get a response back. You don't want to wait for minutes just for that. So, you know, under 100 milliseconds, you're probably fine on going across country. I don't think we can go outside of the U.S. Let's take this all the way down. We can get up to Canada, but I don't think we can get over to Europe. Oh, yeah, we can. Let's go over to Europe. What the heck? Uh, we have some members in the Great Britain area. Uh, Southampton. And now we're going across the big pond. Look at that. So you're going from here all the way over to there. Let's see how long a ping takes. So what you're doing is you're saying, hey, server, you over there? 125 milliseconds, not too bad. Now we're a little bit slower going across the big ocean. Uh, about 62, not too bad. So again, you can test it anywhere in the world, as long as you can find your, you know, your connection. So you can find out where the bottleneck is. And again, for our, for our international people, do a test back over to the Utah, back over to the States, California, somewhere over here, and see what kind of speed you're getting. Because that's, those are the, some of the folks that are complaining that they're not getting at, um, the throughput they need. All right. <clears throat> so again, that was speedtest.net. I hope that helped you. Um, thank you, and we'll see you on the next tip. Thanks, Sammy.